All right, well, here's my next build. Hopefully it will turn out to be basically a little fun fly 3D airplane. I've got it all drawn out. I've taken a couple stills. I'll put in the video too, so you can actually get up close and look at it. But this is how I design my little airplanes. One piece of foam board. And where the X's are is the spots that you don't want to screw up cutting out. So that's why I put the X's where the cutouts are going to go. And the fuselage will fold into three pieces and the top of the fuselage you know will be sheeted with either cardboard or more foam the wing is going to slot right through the middle of the fuselage right there all my measurements are in inches and there's the wing with the ailerons drawn on there it's a very simple real basic one sheet of 30 by 20 foam. I'm going to get to cutting it out, and once I get it all cut out, we'll put it together. I got mine all cut out, and there's one correction. My tail is only four and a quarter inches up and down, not five. Because when I cut out my spot for the tail on the back, I went an inch too long. So I may end up shortening mine a little bit my fuselage but everything else is cut out don't don't hinge or bevel your ailerons yet because you're going to stick the wing through the fuselage once the fuselage is glued together and mark where you need to cut them but pretty simple to cut out and now i'm going to glue it together and we'll see what it looks like here in a few glue the fuselage so it's sitting upright and box shaped Measure your motor. I set my motor in here so it's pretty close to flush. And also check your battery. Make sure you have enough room in there for your the battery you want to use. And design your bulkheads or whatever you want to put in here in your firewall around it. That way everything fits. So that's what I'm doing here. Just getting ready to cut my firewall. Which is 1 8 plywood well got the firewall glued in at a little bit of an angle to the right because of the thrust of the motor and I went ahead and put in my two nine gram servos and if you look one's higher if it'll focus one's higher and one's lower because in these small inch and a half wide fuselage you don't have much room so if you mount one higher and one lower you can put them both right there all right so on this version i'm putting a sandwich plate for the wire landing gear that i'm going to bend later for this so the gear will go hot glued against that block and then this block will come in on the back side and sandwich it together between the two blocks so it's sturdy and that will go right at the front of the wing Preferably a little further forward, but I want to use this battery and I want to have some room, so that's where I'm putting mine. Did you get it glued on? My servo wire is hanging out there, but when you do glue it on, just sight down your fuselage like this and make sure that your horizontal is somewhat horizontal. You can look right down the airplane. But once you get that on, and we move on to the tail and rudder, and if you're going to do a tail wheel, there's another video, I don't know, a couple weeks back that I did on how to do the tail wheel. I'll briefly show it to you on this one next. So I took my wire and I bent a tail wheel, bracket, assembly, whatever you want to call it. That's going to go up into there you poke a nice hole into the rudder there you gouge it out don't break the paper on the other side that's your hinge you're going to take your tail wheel assembly that looks like this you're going to 
stick that in there, fit it in that little gouge right there, and epoxy it is what I do. And then when you go to put the tail on, to glue it on, you just run everything right through this hole on your way down with it already glued into the rudder. Piece of cake, and then you have a steerable tail wheel. I'll show you when it's finished. All right, got it all done and glued, just like that. And yes, it's still flexible. So we're going to stick that through the hole, like so, and glue it on. I'm waiting for the tailwheel glue to cure. I went ahead and ran my linkage for my elevator which is run right out the back like so with the Z-bin control horn and then up here to the servo with another Z-bin. That way you eliminate any connectors that could come loose. Plus it's a lot cheaper and easier. And there you go. Steerable tailwheel. Well, I gotta put the wheel on it still. All right, so I got the rudder hooked up. You can see it there. So I'm test fitting the wing and it really turned out really nice. That horizontal is perfectly lined up with the wing and it's pretty straight. Now, I left enough slot here where I could adjust the wing forward and backward depending on balance before I decide to glue the wing on there so you might want to play with that before you actually glue the wing in but right now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make a couple of marks one on this side and one on this side and cut and bevel my ailerons now you don't want to have to take this wing out more than the one time so while you have the wing back out this next time put on your your uh, aileron servo or two servos if you want to use two micro servos on the bottom of the wing would probably be good that's probably what I'll do but overall that's the overall look of the airplane aileron servos and the motor and my wire gear and it's done except for covering the top and I'll probably use thin cardboard for that all right well we've got a little cheap paint job on here when you go to stab your wing, try to look down the model and get it as straight with your tail as possible. I had to trim one side three or four times before I got it perfect, or nearly perfect. You want to do that as less little as possible because it starts beating up your wing, sliding it in and out. So... Just keep that in mind, If the straighter you cut your wing slit holes, the better. Alright, now I'm going to measure wing tip to wing tip, make sure the wing is centered, and then I'm going to glue it and start on the ailerons. This model, since the wing's so flimsy, I ran one stick of carbon fiber. You can do two or three. Hopefully one's enough. But, uh, yeah, that's what I used to reinforce my wing. Just wanted to show you. Well, I got it all finished up. It's my little, hopefully, 3D slash aerobatic foam airplane out of one sheet of foam board. Just one. The only things I changed was the landing gear. The wire I have wouldn't have been strong enough. So I put one I already had bent pre-bent on a different airplane on there and that's it so the top part here that's still open my servos are not in the back there the top part that's still open is also going to be a hatch that way you can get it the servos and the aileron servos which all I did was glued them on the bottom 
you know, Z bins and hooked them up. And I ran the wire right up through the wing and into the fuselage. I'll probably take some clear tape and, you know, tape that so it doesn't get caught on anything. And it balanced out really, really well with the battery slid back to here. Now all I gotta do is get that top hatch made and it's ready to go fly.